Hello everyone, this is Funny. You are watching Funny Just Info. Today I am going to talk about missionary safety. Introduction, hazards of missionary, causes of missionary accidents, hierarchy of missionary safety controls, machine guards, and safety instructions for handling of missions inside this presentation. Introduction, the use of missionary is a result of technological advancement that enables people to save manpower and enhance productivity. The misuse of machinery would create potential safety hazards that may cause accidents, injuries or even death. Hazards of machinery The common mechanical hazards associated with for machinery and equipment are rotating shafts, pulleys, sprockets and gears which may result in entanglement hard surfaces moving together which results crushing, scissors or shear actions which results cutting, moving or stationary objects which results pinching and dust or waste which results spillage of tiny particles. The causes of machinery accidents are unauthorized machine, unauthorized machinery operation, Lack of sound guarding device, poor machine design, non compliance with the safety rules and guidelines, operating with bare hands without auxiliary tools, untidy, unclean, or crowded worksite, objects on the body such as accessories, long hair, or loose fit overalls, are rolled and entangled without using proper personal protective equipment and poor illumination. The hierarchy of mechanical safety controls. The first step elimination, which means inherent safety design. Second step engineering control, which covers guards, barriers, safeguards, devices, etc. Next one administrative control which means trainings, loto system, inspections, etc. and PPE examples protective clothing, eye protection, earplugs, etc. Let me brief this hierarchy of mechanical safety controls. The first one elimination or substitution inherently safe design. Purchase specific safety protection requirement should be clearly stated to the suppliers when purchasing the machinery. Installation of safety guards or facilities should be up to standard and should be in accordance with the relevant requirements. Second control engineering controls which means machine guards. Machine guards are the primary line of defense between workers and their machines. Any machine part, function or process that may cause injury must be safeguarded. Guard must be secured, protect from falling object and create no new hazards. Let us see some of the requirements for safeguards. First one prevent contact. Prevent workers body or clothing from contacting hazardous moving parts. Second one secure. Firmly secure to machine and not easily removed. Third one protect from falling objects. Ensure that no objects can fall into moving parts. Fourth one, create no new hazard. Must not have shear points, jagged edges or unfinished surfaces. Fifth one, create no interference. Must not prevent workers from performing the job quickly and comfortably. And last one, allow safe lubrication if possible be able to lubricate the machine without removing the safeguards. The types of machine guards. There are mainly five types of machine guards. They are guards, devices, machine or location distance, feeding and ejection methods and miscellaneous aids. There are different guards. These are the physical barriers that prevent contact. 
There are different types of guards, fixer guards, interlocked guards, adjustable guards, self-adjusting guards. Next one, devices. These limit or prevent access to the hazardous area. The types of devices are present sensing, pullback, restrain, safety controls like trip fire, two-handed control, etc. and gates. Third one, mission location and distance. This method removes the hazard from the operator's work area. Next one, feeding and ejection methods. These eliminates the operator exposure to the point of operation. The types of feeding ejection methods are automatic and semi-automatic feed and ejection methods and robots. And last one, miscellaneous aids. These methods can be used to protect both operator and people in the immediate vicinity of operating machinery. Examples include awareness barriers, protective shields and hand feeding tools. Let me brief all these types of machine guards one by one. Fixer guards. Fixer guard may be made of sturdy material such as metal, fiber or plastic which act as an enclosure or separation to prevent the human body from being harmed by dangerous machinery parts. Example, fixed guard on a bandsaw. Interlocked guard. A machinery that is equipped with interlocking guard is in operation only when the guard is in closed position. The guard cannot be opened during machinery operation or the machinery will stop operation immediately when the guard is removed from its closed position. Example, interlocked guard on a picker machine. Next one, adjustable guard. The adjustable guards are useful because they allow flexibility in accommodating various sizes of stock. They provide barrier that may be adjusted to facilitate a variety of production operators. Example, adjustable guard on bandsaw. Self-adjusting guard. The guard protects the operator by placing a barrier between the danger area and the operator. The guard may be constructed of plastic, metal or other substantial material. Example, self-adjusting guard on radial arm saw. Present sensing guard. The working zone of hardware clipper is usually equipped with a photoelectric screening device at the front. Before human body is in contact with the dangerous zone, the light beam is blocked and a series of devices will be triggered to immediately stop the hardware clipper from running. Pullback guard. When the machinery starts to operating, the hauling ropes pull operator's hands off the dangerous zone. When the machinery starting operating, the swiping lever helps eliminate risks by swiping across the dangerous working zone and pushing aside the operator's arm. If the operator or any worker falls down and loses balance or is dragged into machinery, it can be stopped by pushing it can be stopped by pushing the safety lever. Example pullback device on power press. Restraint guard. The restraint which means hold out device uses cables or straps that are attached to the operator's hand at fixed point. The cables or straps adjusted to let the operator's hand travel with the predetermined safe area. Safety controls. Two hand control device should be equipped with a timer such that the operation routine cannot be turned on unless all control buttons are pressed at the same time. Gates. The gate is a mobile barrier that protects the operator at the point of operation before the machinery cycle can be started. Type A, which protects the operator during the entire machinery stroke and, and Type B, which protects during downstroke only. These A and B gates are commonly used with presses and in many instances designed to be operated with each mission cycle. Automatic and or semi-automatic feed. Automatic delivery adopt machinery that is equipped with semi-automatic or automatic delivery device or modified the protective design of the currently used machine. 
This prevents the operator hands from direct contact with hazardous zone. Robots Robots are machines that load and unload stock, assemble parts, transfer objects and perform other tasks. Robots are used for replacing humans who are performing unsafe, hazardous, highly repetitive functions as mentioned above. Protective shields Shields and other aids may be used to provide protection from flying objects, splashing, cutting, oils or coolants. Hand feeding tools Using auxiliary delivery tools to put in and take out objects instead of using bare hands helps to keep a safety distance between hands and the dangerous parts of the machinery. These are the engineering controls. When coming to administrative controls, Loto system, Lockout Tagout system. This is a system measures measure for energy switch that prevents the machinery from being activated by negligence or prevents sudden movement of components due to the residual power in the machinery. It should be used during machinery repair and maintenance. Trainings Arrange suitable training to workers and allow them to know more about the hazards of machinery as well as the functions, use and the limitations of different guardings. Emergency stop device In case of emergency, thus this device is able to cut the power to all the machinery and immediately lock all components in operation. The device must be installed near the operator's working zone to allow them to stop the machinery immediately when emergency arises. PPE is a lower order control and can only be used where higher order controls are not reasonably practicable or are not totally effective. Selection and usage of PP requires careful considerations as there are different types that reduce the risk of injury, contact or exposure to the hazard. For example, punch operators should wear suitable earplugs. Safety instructions for handling machines. Keep safeguards affixed and secure to the machine. If there is a problem with the guard, stop operation and promptly tell your supervisor. Never leave work area while parts are moving. Don't allow guards or falling objects to create pinch point hazards within the moving parts. Only operate machine with guards in place. Use alternative guarding methods if needed. Lock or tag out the machine when the guard is needed to be removed for adjusting or cleaning. Lubricate the machine with guards on. If removal is needed, shut down, lock out and keep a safe distance away. If you are unfamiliar with machine safety or and proper guard use, get supervision involved to assist you. Do not operate the machine if the guards are damaged, missing or provide inadequate protection. And long hair, gloves and loose clothing are entanglement hazards and should kept away from machinery. This is about machinery safety. Thanks for watching and have a safe day.